What's going on, Clutch? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dub. It's your boy Ross. We're in the Clutch. Hey, back. Get you, ladies and gentlemen, on the visit today. You feel me? If I were going to check out horror movies, I could easily survive, uh, to... uh, I guess, the second edition of this one. I think we may have checked out the first one a while back. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, we're going to check out some of these situations where, when you really think about it, you they, sh got out of a lot of these they, situations. they shouldn't be dying. They shouldn't be getting caught up. I know with the Chucky, I think they said he has the strength of a normal human being. Mm -hmm. So but, does a saw. Yeah. And but, a drill and a But um, he's short. So, chainsaw. you know what I'm saying? You just get the... Yeah. <laughs> you got that height advantage. You know, you you a human being too. You, you're a strong individual too. Just, I'm packing Chucky up. Get that nigga out of here, bro. Just like when they shredded that boy up, but old girl wanted to bring him back. Oh, yeah, yeah, nah. Barry, yeah, nah. Anywho, we should <laughs> get to this right now. Uh, make sure I want the likes and all that good stuff. Let's go. Let's do it. Most loved and hated <clears throat> forms of entertainment to exist. I mean, it makes sense. They're scary. They even scare me sometimes. But something we've all done while watching a horror movie, whether you love them or hate them, is think to ourselves. Good hmm. eye. I think I could survive this. Matter of fact, I know I could survive this. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be spending the block on more horror movies I could for surely survive. And as usual, I'll be giving you guys my strategy, my game plan, my thought process. And obviously, some of the ones that I can't. Stream. First one up on the hit list yeah, is Ghostface from Scream. Yeah, bro. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this dude is a pretty standard horror villain on the surface. A masked man with a knife, no superhuman abilities, yeah. and can be taken out the same way any other regular human can be taken out. Shoot his ass. Should be an easy one there to deal with. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Movie there we over. go. Movie over. <laughs> Especially in Texas. Nigga, you come around. Uh, what was that? Uh, unfortunately, it was like a YouTuber. He was trying to pull a prank and he had a knife and the person shot him. Mm hmm. They didn't know it was a prank or whatever the case you can't was. Play like that because everybody don't have the same reaction, so you can't be mad for someone. I'm not about to react. you know figure out if it's a real knife or not. No, you just gonna mm -hmm. get shot, and then we'll figure it out afterwards. Yeah, later. Once yeah. I know I'm safe. Yeah. Oh man, I hate that, that happened. Damn it. Slow your roll. What makes Ghostface such a special and popular killer is one, the whole "What's your favorite scary movie?" thing, and two, he doesn't work alone. Ghostface yeah, is two, sometimes even three people working together. That's usually the whole twist with his movies. Ghostface sometimes ends up being the love interest, the love interest is parent, the love interest is dog, it could be anyone. <laughs> yeah, you never dog. know what this dude. And that means we have multiple killers on the loose, ladies and gentlemen, making this situation at the very least a 2v1 against me. What am I gonna do? Well, I could go one route and say, these guys usually target specific people. So as long as I'm not near Sydney Prescott, Melissa Barrera, or Jen and Ortega, I should be good, but that would be boring. So let's just say Ghostface decides to target me because I, I don't know, I accidentally ran over Ghost Dog's mama. What do I do then? <laughs> and my answer to that might surprise you. They're literally human, minus him. Like, yeah, it's a two or three v one, but if you watch any of these movies, you know against these guys, that's more than winnable. Like I said a second ago, they're gun level, and it doesn't help yeah. that they don't often make the smart decision. They always start off intimidating, a killer yeah. you could actually be afraid of. But as we get closer and closer to the identity reveal, it's like they're losing brain cells. They let mm -hmm. certain people live, they start <laughs> becoming clumsier. This is exactly mm -hmm. why I told you to stay off that galaxy gas. And the dumbest <laughs> yeah. thing they do is that since it's a personal beef, they always do this huge dramatic reveal to torment the victim or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's right, Derek. It was us. It was us all along. Shut up. These dudes are That's just an aggressive it. scam likely call. I ain't sweating. Unless they pull a JJK and jump me, In I'm winning. Mm. Just don't go to the sewer. Go to the sewer. Pennywise. Simple. The killer demon clown. Now, a lot of y'all probably know this guy. And y'all know, unlike Ghostface, Pennywise has power. Yeah, he yeah, has yeah. the ability to create illusions, shapeshift, <laughs> regenerate, and much, much more. Yeah. He pretty much got the reality stone. And all this stuff on paper makes Pennywise an extremely formidable and difficult to beat opponent. Like, after watching him lose at the end of part one and seeing him come back at the start of part two, you would think this dude is unbeatable. But we were wrong. We were all wrong. Because all these reality warping powers Pennywise <laughs> Has all rely on one thing fear fear mm -hmm. that's right you gotta be scared of this dude for him to really do anything to you so if you're not afraid of him this dude is practically useless mm -hmm. i was never one to be afraid of clowns like no joke I i've played roblox games that scared me more i just always thought they were too silly looking mm -hmm. to be scared of them yeah. and that's no this as someone who scared them trust me i got some strange things that scare me too i'm just saying not Santa Claus. Most I ever got to be scared of them was those 2016 clown sightings that were happening. And even then, why am I gonna be scared of a clown staring at me from a distance? What he gonna do? Throw a freaking pie at me? So if you put me against a clown that relies on me being scared of him? <laughs> 
That's easy pickings. I mean, bro, you can practically yeah. bully this dude to yeah, death. Bully him. A few mean words mm-hmm. and he's out for the count. <laughs> I grew up playing Prime Con, right, yeah. Prime 2K, and yeah. Prime yeah, GTA. The- so if it means survival, just know he my slur bag runs deep. Yep, my slur bag. <laughs> I've never seen this movie. I've seen bits and pieces of it. Bits and pieces of it, but yeah, never, yeah. never saw it. I know who the character is, the yeah. premise. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I've never sat and actually just watched the movie. Yeah. So shout out to y'all who did. <laughs> you scared yourself in the the, the mirror, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just don't Before say anyone it. says it, no, he does not use candy to kill people. I know, I know, it would have been cool. I know. Candy man is his vengeful spirit with a hook for a hand that you could sum after saying his name five times in the mirror. <laughs> So he's sort of like Buddy Mary, but instead of his name yeah. being Mary, he's a black dude. So yeah. there's gonna be people yeah, scared nigga. of him, ghost or not. Now what makes Candyman so scary ghost is a night. combination of things. First of all, the hook for the hand. On top of that, he can teleport, control yeah. bees, control minds, has an insanely deep voice, and scariest of all, he dwells in yeah. the projects. Yeah. Now, I don't know if everyone watching this has a full scariest understanding of how of bad projects could get, especially here in the East Coast, but I do. In my city, there's plenty of projects. Now, I'm not from the projects. I live by a project, but I ain't from it. <laughs> but what I can tell you from years of living adjacent. near and watching and studying these things is that the projects are absolutely horrible. Am I lying though? Am I lying? Like it may sound like I'm being rude, but even people from the projects don't want to be from the projects. This is common knowledge. The conditions of those things are damn near inhospitable. <laughs> Y'all like that word? Y'all like that word? And the projects in this movie are worse than the ones that I've been in. They only add to the horror. These projects look like they got people taking dumps in the stairwell, crackheads trying to make a dollar in the elevator. The ones I've been in only got piss in the stairwells and a few crackheads. There, there's levels. Of so when you add this environment to his already insane Insane array of abilities, especially the controlling beast thing, that, uh, that's bad. This one seems rather difficult, but I assure you, this one is easy. I'ma just do what I did when I was a kid and people told me to say his name. Nothing. I ain't saying the dude's name five times in a mirror. Yeah. I might do four just to pump fake it, but just why would I ever do fake. five? That's ridiculous. <laughs> who in their right mind hears an urban legend about summoning a man with a hook for a hand who comes after you and thinks, and well, I should probably do that. You gotta be off your rocker. Yeah, I'm not saying the name. And I would love to do a scenario where I did summon him, but I just don't see myself surviving in that case. Cause it's not like you have to be from the projects for mm-hmm. him to come after you. Yeah. You could be in Cancun, but if you say this dude's name in the mirror five times, he's teleporting straight to you. You just got him a free vacation. Yeah. I'm not messing with this dude. I'm free sorry. Vacation. He's just too dangerous. There was literally a scene in the movie where this kid, this little kid went to go use the bathroom and this dude, yeah, I, I, I don't even want to say this dude, Candyman, Hibachi, this little kid's Johnson. What was the reason? I'm good. Candyman is easy. It's if great. I don't summon him, if yeah. I do summon him, I'm cooked. Like, really, the only advantage you got against this dude is, is being a snow bunny. And I don't know if I could do that right now. He said, I don't know if I could do that right now. <laughs> yeah, just don't say the nigga name, bro. <laughs> he just said this is when we follow a crew of scientists aboard a spaceship who, after going to an unfamiliar planet, are infiltrated by an alien. And this ain't your usual alien. Nah, this isn't your gardener or yeah. barber or DoorDash driver. It's not Marvin or Roger <laughs> from American Dad. Nah. No, these things are dark, yeah. scary, and contribute nothing to the economy. The nope. Xenomorph, <laughs> standing at seven to eight feet tall, bloodthirsty, insanely intelligent, extremely mm-hmm. durable, and it got a mouth in its mouth. This thing is the real yeah. deal. And I'm stuck on a spaceship with it, with no place to run, barely any places to hide, and mm-hmm. again, in the middle of space. Yeah. Looks like I'm in a bit of a pickle now, doesn't it? But I just watched Alien Romulus mm-hmm. the other day. You and I learned it. a mm-hmm. lot about our alien buddies over here. So while it may look like I'm in a tough situation, don't worry, Joe. I got this. So from what we know about these Xenowars is that they're nearly impossible to hurt. Things like regular guns and tools don't work on nope. them at all. Something like a flamethrower could work for a little, but not enough to actually put the dude down. And while things like high caliber guns and explosives do work, I forgot to mention the Xenomorphs are like Magic Johnson in certain aspects. <laughs> And it ain't the height, I'll tell you that much. They hey, have yo. highly acidic blood. So if you pierce your skin in any way, their blood... All right, bro. I ain't know where he was yeah, going with that. Yeah, I knew where that. he was going. As soon as he said that, I was like, oh, no. Acidic. <sighs> Dog. <sighs> it's going to start leaking everywhere and melting <clears throat> everything. So mm-hmm. just like magic, we should probably avoid making this thing spill blood. So what am I going to do? I can't burn this thing. I can't shoot it because of the ship. I can't blow it up. What do I have planned? <laughs> 
foolish. It's obvious. <laughs> the only way to defeat this thing is to go back to its roots. You see, while they are aliens, Xenomorphs are still similar to us in one way. They have a weak baby form. Granted, it's a very messed up and dangerous looking baby, but yeah. it's still a weaker form. They start off as face huggers. These little crab spider things that hug your face in order to evolve into the big dangerous version of themselves that I'm currently stuck on the ship with, these face huggers must impregnate what the what are my crewmates mm -hmm. and right here during this weird process is where i strike if you know me you know i'm not one to game i is come out of you could call losses. me a quitter so the second i see one of my crewmates getting his face hugged by one of these things and potentially jeopardizing the safety of everyone else on board Mm, I don't know. That looks like a loss I'm gonna have to cut. I'm sorry, it's yeah. the truth. That's, That's the it. only way to win in this scenario and make sure no other lives are lost. I'ma look at my other crewmates and pull up. I don't think he's gonna make it, guys. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! We gonna have to put him down and proceed to eject him, him and that ugly baby out the airlock. And there I already go. know some of y'all about to say this method was <clears> inhumane. <throat> and you're right, it, it was inhumane. That's it. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> Alright bro It's been nice knowing you man We know who it is you let him get One of the most popular you. villains in horror You see his face at every Hot Topic in Spencer's yeah, The killer doll Charles Charlie Chuck If you've been watching me for a while You might already know <coughs> I don't rock with dolls. And it all started with him. Mm -hmm. This dude had a chokehold on me exactly. my entire yep. childhood. Like, I cannot Preach. stress this yep. enough to you guys. Preach. This dude was my biggest fear. Anytime yeah, I would was. see this dude, he would have me sound like Courage the Cowardly Dog trying to speak. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I remember that. It was Every time. bad. Like, back then, my top three was Chucky, Heights, and Presentations. That was an immovable <laughs> top three. And it was like this for years dog. and years and years. Presentations was And tough. one day I woke up and I realized this little n is a doll, a yeah. two foot doll. I've literally been taller than him since I was like three. Yeah, he had this insane grasp on my mind for so long. Had me waking up from Sukuyomi type mm -hmm. nightmares. To yeah. answer the question, of course I'm whooping him. He's not Annabelle or Brahms or any other demon possessed doll. He's literally just a ginger killer baby who cracks jokes every now and then and knows voodoo. Literally a kick, a punch, a slap, voodoo. anything will work against this dude. Maybe if I was seven years old again, he would win because I was a huge, that thing girls can between their legs. But now, <laughs> if I can't beat this little dude, tell my mama to this home. I'm serious. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so convinced I'm winning this. They can All bring right. the whole army of Chucky's from the show, add Tiffany, and matter of fact, throw in one of them crackheads from the projects too. At least I don't give them some sort of win con. As you guys can see though, <laughs> a whole year later and these horror villains are still not hanging with me. Except him though. Oh yeah, nah, he, he got it. Yeah, Comment yeah, down below any of the ones you guys think I was yeah. wrong or right about. He's different. Yeah, man. he's <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm Understand. good. I'm good on that Another one. Another movie I avoided. Yeah, nah, he. Yeah, I. I've never even watched it. <laughs> I just yeah, heard about it. I know, and I know clips about the. Yeah, I'm just, just like, okay. oh, okay. But yeah, nah, man. A lot of these <laughs> are definitely beatable. Like mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying if you get. Like the alien one, hey bro, it was nice knowing you, bro. Sitting that nigga out there. <laughs> wow. So that's so when you saw the movie, that's kind of like what they could have done to avoid. I mean, yeah, that's the only thing you really could do. Once you it happened, take it off. Nah, because it it, it constricts the neck. Oh, so man. the more you do it, it'll just end up breaking the person's neck. Oh, so okay. we win, right? <laughs> all right, all right. Anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can do that too. Hold on, yeah. we're trying to get it up. No, <laughs> you can't even talk, man. When you start talking, now y'all have. Well, I'd be in there arguing with you, but nah, man. Hey, if y'all enjoyed this video, you already know. What to do. Let us know in the comments down below if you can, uh, if you agree. Uh, with being able to survive mm -hmm. some of these uh, horror movie yeah, villains. Uh, villains and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, me and Chucky definitely got to go one on one. Chucky, yeah, Chucky definitely Get had a nigga out of here, bro. Run that nigga over with the car repeatedly. <laughs> yeah. That's all I'm doing. Throw that nigga in a blender. <laughs> Facts. We finna blend. We finna juice Chucky. <laughs> but now, nah, man, uh, again, make sure you want to like, subscribe. Let us know what else we need to be checking out next. We love you guys. Continue to spread love, be love. Keep God first. Always. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace. The bitch is from Houston. If she got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.